everyone. This is Danielle Schneider with the Solomon Group. Welcome to this week's episode of The Real, WASA's Real Estate Show. Today I'm going to be talking about the importance of staging your home for sale and how prepping your home can help buyers picture themselves in it. We're going to cover a few key points including why staging your home is important, the impact staging can have on potential buyers, and recommended tasks that you can do when preparing your home for sale. Let's start out by talking about why staging your home is important. When a buyer pulls up to your house, that first impression is going to be critical. By staging not only the interior, but also the exterior, it's going to help you sell your home more quickly, as well as get the best possible price for it. It will allow buyers to see the home in the best possible way, and in an industry where first impressions are so crucial, it could make or break your sale. Buyers are primarily going to be looking at the quality, structure, and bones of the property. If the home isn't picked up or is full of personal items, it can be hard for buyers to see past all of the clutter and picture the potential that the home has. That leads into our next point about the impact that staging can have on potential buyers. A staged home is going to photograph better than one that is full of clutter. In today's market, most buyers are looking at homes online before they actually go to see them in person. If the home photographs well, it's going to bring more buyers through that door as well as leave a good first impression. Staging doesn't just come down to arranging furniture. There's so much more to it. Is the home clean? Are there pet or other odors present? Is it full of personal items or photographs? These are all things that can affect the impression left on buyers. The last thing we're going to talk about is what you can do to prepare your home when you are getting ready to sell. The first thing you can do is declutter and depersonalize your home. By removing excess items, you're going to create a clean slate, opening up the space and making it appear larger and more appealing. You'll also want to remove large personal photographs. Those can be replaced with general landscape photos or other neutral artwork. Another important item is making sure the home is thoroughly cleaned. This includes vacuuming and mopping the floors, wiping down the countertops, and cleaning the windows. Dishes should be put away and not left in the kitchen sink. Any burned out light bulbs should be replaced. Window blinds or curtains should be opened, allowing natural light inside. Beds should be made and laundry placed in a closet or out of sight. You'll also want to wipe down your mechanicals, such as your furnace or water heater, and make sure that they're accessible. Aside from cleaning up the interior, you'll want to make sure the exterior is picked up as well. This is important because the exterior of the home is the first thing that buyers are going to see when they pull up to your house. Mowing the lawn, cleaning up leaves, and trimming the shrubs will all help improve your curb appeal, all leading back to that first impression. Cobwebs should be removed from eaves and door frames. Vehicles should be removed from the front of the home as well as any children or pet toys and any pet waste in the yard. By spending a little time and effort doing these things, it's going to improve the showability of your home. It's going to give buyers peace of mind knowing that the home has been well taken care of and maintained. If you have any questions about staging your home for sale, please feel free to reach out. We would be happy to connect with you and talk some more about preparing your home for sale. Thanks for tuning into this week's episode of The Real. Have a great day.